Hey, what's up, guys? How we doing? Um, I put up a video a few days ago on Carlos Correa, uh, the number one overall pick in the MLB draft a few nights ago by the Houston Astros, and I've received a lot of messages, a lot of emails uh, from people talking and asking about other shortstop prospects that were recently drafted. So I thought I would take a look at a few of them, give you my thoughts, talk about what I like and what I think other infielders can learn from these guys that will help improve their game. So the first guy I wanted to look at today is Gavin Cashini. I think I said that right. He's a high school shortstop out of Barb High School in Lake Charles, Louisiana. And uh, one of my good friends and former roommates and teammates, Wade LeBlanc, is uh, really happy about this pick because he was the ace of the Barb staff back in high school, back in uh, 99 to 03. So after watching Gavin... Uh, I really like what I see. He's another really polished high school player who does everything on the field really solid. He's got a good frame for a shortstop. He's like 6'2", 180, I think they had him listed as. Looks really athletic when I watch him in the field. He's got real good feet. He was 32 for 32 in stolen bases is what it says on here, which is you can't get much better than that. And you can tell from watching him that he's been coached really well. His dad's actually the, the coach at his high school. And it's a high school that's developed a lot of talent that has gone on to play professional baseball. So first, let's talk a little bit about his bat. I've watched him swing a little bit online, and uh, I really like his swing. He's got good rhythm. He isn't as physically strong, obviously, as Correa. Not many guys are, especially high school players. But I really like the way his swing works. He's got, he's got real good bat speed. He uh, uses his hands well. He's real balanced. He's still uh, a pretty thin kid. I think that he can... Um, that he's going to put on some weight. But even for how big he is right now, he has some surprising pop. The ball really jumps off his bat. So I liked everything I saw with his bat. And uh, looking at his failing mechanics, again, that's where I really like what I'm seeing from these young uh, shortstops. One thing you notice is how polished all these guys are. And another thing that I really like, probably the, the thing I like most about him is his glove and how he controls everything that he does with it. There's no wasted movement. I love how he carries the glove. He's in a good thumbs up position and there's, like I said, there's no wasted movement. He goes from thumbs up to a quarter turn and is ready to fill the ball. So let's look real quick at kind of what I'm talking about. So his glove's always thumbs up right around this side and it's just a quick quarter turn, exposes the pocket, fields, and throws. This is one thing when I'm watching really good infielders, this is what I see. And it's something all younger infielders need to really work on. How they carry the glove, how they control the glove. You always want to know where the glove is at all times. Too many young guys, they're late to expose the pocket. They've got a, a bunch of glove flips. Um, so you really want to know where it is. And the easiest way is to always carry it thumbs up. That's what you'll see a lot of great infielders do. That's what we're taught and professional baseball is to be thumbs up and then it's just a quick quarter turn from here to here there's no glove flips there's no waste of movement and you're always going to be on time exposing the pocket to the ball the next thing I want to look at real quick is some of his backhand plays again great glove control no waste of movement he gets down there early he exposes the pocket he's really soft with his hands for a high school kid a lot of kids especially young kids, will stab at the ball with their backhand, and they don't feel as comfortable with their backhand, but you can tell he's put a lot of time into it. Let's take a, a quick look at his backhand plays. Same thing. He's running full speed, really tough play, but he's going to get down early, exposing the pocket early, gets down low. Really hard play here in the hole. Makes it look really easy. Let's go back one more time. Again, especially on a play this difficult, how calm his glove is and how even though he's moving full speed, this is something that you can tell he's a really, really advanced infield. He's, he's moving full speed. Look how soft his hands are. His glove doesn't get hard at all. So he's full speed. and He's, he's already getting it. As he's, as he's running full speed, he's early with the backhand. That's the most important thing is to expose the pocket early, get down low, nice soft hands. Makes you throw to first base. So, 
comparing these two guys, I've had a lot of people write in and, and compare Gavin to Carlos. I still think, just from watching here, obviously I've never played with them, um, but I think Correa is still slightly ahead of Cashini with regards to the glove. But Gavin's really, really close. He's probably the second best infield glove I've seen so far for a high school kid uh, on here. He's an excellent player. I think he's going to have a really bright future. So um, I'm, I'm excited to see what he does uh, on his way through the minor league. So thanks for uh, sending in the emails. I'm going to get to as many of these guys as you guys are sending to me as I can. Um, hope you enjoy. Let me know what you think. We'll talk to you later.